Welcome back. You're still watching Weekend Live on SABC2. Circa Angelico is without a doubt one of the most innovative buildings of our time. Sandra Felix of Green Brick Architects took us to, to the Rosebank Johannesburg Art Gallery as part of our weekly look at architecture and design to show what exactly it is about the building that she likes so much. obviously a, a, a oval in a very tight site um, just the way it relates to the city I think is a very important thing um, there are no fences as you can if you look around you there's just low levels and the architect who was Pierre Swanepoel from Studio Mass has actually done something very good in Johannesburg in Johannesburg we're so used to a building with a fence around it um, and this building deals with the whole like public private in its levels. So like Jan Smuts, the fact that the building is raised gives the, the privacy to the inside courtyard. Um, in terms of the materiality of the building, it's actually very simple. It's concrete, off shutter concrete, not painted, um, and the the aluminium screen on the outside. Um, and the architect did that on purpose because he, he he said that he wanted to try and minimize the number of materials and try and, and and in doing that use those in a sort of very poetic way but i also think it has to do with like the current resources issues um you know that resources are running out we have huge um impacts on the environment especially buildings um, and the building it actually is designed in a very passive way um, to to heat and cool and ventilate. Um, so you'll see like the the the, the aluminium on the outside mm -hmm. um, has gaps, which means that the the circulation ramps are all naturally ventilated. Um, and the what happens with concrete is concrete is a very good. Um, insulator. It, it absorbs the heat from the sun and it releases it much later on. Um, so what people normally look at concrete and they sort of, I think the man in the street tends to think of it as quite a, a harsh material. It's actually a very good material to heat and cool a building naturally. Um, and he's exploited that in this building. I think it's actually penetrated the psyche of so many people in Johannesburg, um, even apart from architects. And I think the reason is because it's stretched the notion of what's possible in architecture. Um, and it's such a different type of architecture that it's brought so many issues to the fore. Um, you know, people have started debating, people love it, people hate it. but. Just the, just the sense that there is debate about architecture in the public realm, in you know, people who maybe wouldn't normally be talking about architecture, I think that is a very important thing.